Hi everyone, welcome back to another Baking with Scott video and I am so happy to unbox another KitchenAid stand mixer. If you didn't see my first video, I unboxed a seven quart candy apple red mixer and I honestly, I love it, both refurbished. I can't even tell it's refurbished, okay? I love it so much and well, I kind of bought another one. Didn't mean to because I got put down twice for mixers, but different color, different things, I guess. So this color, great for stainless steel kitchens, not sugar pearl silver, which I wanted, but just never had it in stock. I have my name down for it. And um, 12 people had our names down. 12 people is, uh, had names down for Sugar Pearl Silver and it was never in stock to begin with. Also, Candy Apple Red, there was like a 139 person wait. Luckily, the very nice people at KitchenAid switched over my color and I was like in head of the line. Um, this one, I just bought on my own, saw it, and I was planning to cancel the one that doesn't ship. So I was actually planning to cancel the candy apple red, but they shipped at the same time. So here we here we are right now, a couple days later, and I'm boxing another mixer. Actually, when I ordered this mixer, it shipped the same day it came into stock, which is quite great. Actually, no, it didn't ship, but it was starting the shipping process, which was great. Whoa! <laughs> what? I'm speechless. Holy moly guacamole. Okay. This is beautiful. By the way, I am going to, I'm hopefully going to be returning one of the stand mixers because I want you guys to also have a chance with these mixers. The one I will, I'm returning, I will be telling you, but this is just stunning. Okay. So here we go again, guys, right? Uh, dough hook. Let's, let's see this. So, if you didn't watch my first video, I'll remind you on this again. Only use speed two for this dough hook. Um, it's the same as my other mixer, which was a candy apple red mixer, which I definitely suggest you guys looking at. Okay. We have, uh, manual with my mixer on the front. Let's see. Oh, wait, if you need service. Okay, so there's another thing. If you need service. So this is just talking about if you have a problem, send your mixer back. Okay, great. Now, the people who watched my other videos on these mixers, the uh, handle, right, the silver handle is falling off again. Not very pleased with that. That's probably the only thing um, with these refurbished mixers that the handle's probably falling off. Okay, let's open this up and let's get it out of the box off camera. One second. Ooh, it's a heavy guy. Okay. Bear with me one moment. How am I gonna do this? Oh my goodness. Hi, yay, yay. Okay, let's do this. Okay, clamp it, pull it. Actually, that was kind of easy. Okay, here it is. Medallion, right? Medallion, okay, medallion silver mixer. What? Okay, let's get the handle out. I mean, the paddle, okay, paddle looks like great condition. Let me make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Nothing else is in the box except some other papers and everything. Okay. This is a lot, I'll be honest with you, this is a lot darker in person than, it, than it's um, depicted, I think. Maybe it could be changed in lighting and those kinds of things. Oh my God, this is, oh my goodness, this is a, a big, big mixer. Oh! Oh! Okay. I won't be using it anyway. There is so much fire foam all over the place. My goodness. Okay. Wow. Look at this. This is 
stunning. Stunning. Like, I'm in awe. I really, really am. What, like, a stainless steel, beautiful color this is. And what a huge bowl. My gosh. It's huge. Okay. This is beautiful. Apart from this, comes off again. See, this one did too. Let's see, does this one fit on here? No. Okay, but apart from that, like, wait a minute. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Very dirty handle. Okay, so we have our speed controls over here. We have our whisk, stainless steel. Did a whole spiel about that in my other video. Okay, so I'm actually gonna keep this on because the handle's very, like, dirty. Okay, so we have, let's get this handle out of the way. Okay, so the cord's the same thing. It looks like that it's slit again. So that's interesting. The cord looks like that it, um, it ha it's like been cut a little bit, which is interesting. Okay, overall looks about it. Um, it is stunning, my gosh, okay, it's beautiful. That was strange. <laughs> um, medallion silver. Looks a lot like candy apple, just different color. It has a high gloss finish, quite dark. Um, not black, kind of gray. Uh, nothing like that silver mixture that they offer with the smaller mixers. It's, um, a lot more, I think, like, rich, ambitious. Um, it's, like, honestly great for stainless steel appliances or very modern kitchens. This would be phenomenal with. Um, while candy apple red would be great for reddish kitchens, maybe like a white kitchen. I put mine in the pantry anyway, and I just pull it out when I need to, so I don't care about the color. I just care about the quality of the mixer. Okay, so it looks really, really pretty. It's a huge, huge bowl. Let's look at this bowl. Pops up very nice. So much styrofoam's in here. Uh, the bowl is a little, actually no, the bowl's in better condition than the other one than my other mixer. Although the handle's quite small on this one. Interesting. So here's that huge bowl. And it's really big inside. The feel of it is the same as candy apple. It's very silky. I don't think it's like most kitchen aids. It's very, very silky. Now you might see under here, it's a little thicker, it's a little bit, it's a little bit bigger than most mixers. And that's because, that's because, can we stay in here? I don't know. When you're mixing, when you're doing heavier batches and heavier doughs and whatever, um, it needs more torque. And that's when this mixer comes into play. So we have speeds two, four, six, eight, ten. Now here's another thing to note. The band going around this mixer it's a little loose. Now, I'm going to run over here and look at this one. Was this one loose? Yeah, the candy apple red one was not loose, but this has a loose band. Not as bad as I've seen before. I had one that was, like, over here, like, refurbished, falling off. But, listen, I honestly cannot tell you... I cannot see that this was refurbished. Like, it looks brand spanking new. Like, I don't see any scratches, except on this handle, but I can just take it off. Who cares, right? I don't see anything that... that scratched. I'm not complaining. That's amazing. But, like, these refurbished shields I just love. I hope that they don't stop this, because I'm not going to purchase a new mixer unless if it's on sale now. Because when you go higher up, 
with these mixers. It's just, it's so like new and pretty and it's, it's honestly, it's great. I love how KitchenAid does this. So before we do a sound review, this, let's see, righty tidy lefty Lucy. Okay. So this is heavy. Um, about a gram or so. Uh, not extremely heavy, but it's not plastic, which is great. So, um, it's definitely a step up in your kitchen. I can never get these in. Okay. It's definitely a step up in your kitchen. Um, and it's great. Again, all stainless steel appliances. What a beautiful mixer. Uh, 1.3 horsepower. Uh, really, really pretty. So, let's get this whisk on. Stainless steel whisk. I put mine in the dishwasher. Don't know if you can. If it's stainless steel, you can, right? This fits. I'm just trying to see the bowl, the attachment to bowl clearance, just to make sure that we're, we're good here. Well, we'll hear it if, we're, if it's touching it because we'll hear like a clanking sound. Okay, and now we're gonna do... The dough hook. So I never actually noticed this, but on it, it says don't go more than speed two. I never, I never noticed that. I thought you can go as high up as you want. I don't think it matters, especially when you go into a higher mixer. But listen, they tell you don't go higher than speed two. I would not. Okay, now they say you can put these in the dishwasher. I never do because the inside looks like it's burnished. Actually, this one looks like, yeah, the inside is like a burnish, which then can result in powder coming off. I love this color, my goodness. It's also very sparkly. It's very like a pop of color. So I'm gonna really test out these two mixers and see which one I like better. I'm also looking at that sound of the mixer, which the candy apple was great. It was very chronic candy apple. Okay, so we tested our attachments. We did a quick view and overlook. I give it um, an A in the looks because it's just, it's stunning. It is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's just, it's honestly beautiful to look at. On camera, it looks actually a little lighter, maybe. It's not black. Like, black, like this cord, it's it's not black at all. It's lighter on the top because I have lights here, but, and then it goes a little darker to the bottom. I think that those um, specks and glitter in it, the flex in the paint, really makes it look like it's a little darker, but I don't think it's that dark. Now the bowl, it's a lot, it's, I think it's in better condition than the candy apple red, but of course you can pop it into the dishwasher. Okay, so now we are going to plug it into the outlet. Um, at 13 minutes, so we have one more minute to do this. If the video ends, go look at my next video because I only have like a 15 minute like time on this. I don't know why YouTube does that, but I just do. Okay, so go look at my next video, which I will be showing you the sound of the mixer. Um, I will label it seven quart stand mixer sound test and the big decision because I'm going to decide if I should keep my candy apple red or go with my medallion silver. Okay, see you guys later.